At the recent NBA show in Las Vegas, Textron Aviation opened the order book for its new $35 million flagship Citation Hemisphere business jet, the company's first entry into the large cabin segment. A cabin mock-up shows off what can be done with the 102-inch wide fuselage, which has 43 feet of length between the aft end of the cockpit to the rear bulkhead in the in-flight accessible baggage compartment. We're on the Hemisphere, Cessna's new 4500 nautical mile three-zone airplane, and I'd like to take a minute to walk you through some of the amenities and features in the galley area. We were able to incorporate skylights, so you still get the natural light, but you also get the full length of the cabinets as well. Because of the depth of the workspace, we were also able to incorporate actual wine chillers here, so you can keep white wine cold, as well as any other beverages. And we have a stowable crystal storage, so again, you're able to utilize the entire cabinet space as a workstation. We have granite in this particular airplane, both on the flooring as well as the countertops. This particular configuration has the double ovens and a temperature controlled wine chiller that supports both red and white wine. One of the unique features about the galley is it's very configurable. So you could also incorporate a crew seat as well and still have a very large galley. There is a front laboratory, which is usable by the crew as well as the customers, very nicely designed. We are now in zone one of the hemisphere. The seats are very large, but they're also designed for flexibility. So you can see here, the seat's fully berthed. It's 80 inches long, which is the same length as a king size bed. There's a lot of natural light throughout the aircraft. You can see very large windows, which are very strategically placed. So whatever seat you sit on and whatever configuration you have, you always have a good view. We're in zone two. And the unique feature about zone two is it has a lot of flexibility. The particular design that you're looking at here shows a conference area and this table pushes down so you have a full length bed here. We're also showing a credenza with a seat. However, the seat folds down so you have a full workstation to be able to serve food. Additionally, you can switch out the credenza. You can incorporate a couch or a wet bar. There's really endless options to what you can do in zone two. So as you enter into zone three, you'll see that it's a completely different color palette and feeling. And it has multiple uses and is very flexible as well. So for example, the couch is a three place couch, but it also is very easy to turn into a, a flat bed. And you have club seating here that also folds into a very large bed. Zone three also has a great entertainment option. So you can see there's 30 inch wide screens. And one of the unique features about the hemisphere is the sound system. So rather than a traditional uh, speaker sound system, we've incorporated transducers throughout the entire airplane. And what that does is give a great sound experience. So wherever you're walking, you get the same quality of sound as if you were sitting next to a speaker. As you enter into the back lavatory, you'll notice, again, a lot of space. So we've got large closets on each side. You've got a large mirror, again, the granite countertops. Again, we incorporated the large skylight so you get the natural light without taking away from the cabin space. Another feature is the luggage space. So it's very large, but more importantly, it's accessible during all levels of flight. So if you did elect to store baggage or anything that you would need during flight, you have the option to come back and get that as well. The twin jet will be powered by the Saffron Silvercrest engines and Honeywell will supply its Primus Epic avionics suite. In addition, the fly-by-wire aircraft will incorporate active control side sticks. The hemisphere's first flight is planned for 2019, followed by entry into service in 2020.